Hello guys, it's Galeb for Gaming here and today we're gonna be building a 350 euro gaming PC. First, let's start with our components. For the processor, we're gonna be using a Intel Pentium G3220. This is a dual core running at 3 GHz and for 60 euros it's gonna be just fine for our build. For the motherboard, I've chosen a ASUS H81MK. This is a pretty basic motherboard, but for around 45 euros, it fits our team perfectly. For the storage, I went with the Western Digital Blue 1TB hard drive running at 7200 RPM. The reason I'm showcasing a uh, 500 gigabyte model is because I had one at home and at the end it's not gonna make a difference so you can get uh, Western Digital Blue 1 terabyte for around 55 euros for the RAM I went with integral 4 gigabyte skip running at 1333 megahertz here it doesn't really matter you can get any 4 GB stick you want um, but if you have a bit more money to spend I would really recommend going with a 6 GB skip but uh, for 25 euros new this 4 GB skip is gonna be just fine for our build for the graphics card I've chosen Asus GeForce GTX 650 1 GB model I got mine used for around 60 euros, but for you can get new for around 90 euros, which fits the budget just fine. For the power supply, I've chosen LC Power 420 watt power supply. The reason I've chosen this one is because I had one laying around at home, and it it provides just enough power for our system. You can get a new one for around $25 and it fits our team just perfectly. This build also includes a Wi-Fi card which is a ASUS PCE-N10. It supports up to 150 megabytes per second at around 20 euros new. We're gonna put all these parts into Antec VSK 4000B. This is a pretty solid case for around 30 euros and it also comes with one pre-installed fan at the back. So with that said, let's start building the computer. First, take your motherboard. Release the retention arm and open the CPU socket. Take your processor and align the triangle with the mark on your motherboard. Gently drop your CPU into place. Close down the socket and lower the retention arm to secure the CPU. The plastic piece is going to pop out and put that one away for now. Then take the CPU cooler and place it on top of the CPU. The thermal paste comes pre-applied so you don't have to worry about that. Use some force to secure it on place and then connect the CPU fan to the motherboard. Take your RAM and open up RAM slots. Align RAM with the slots and use some force to secure it into place. Take motherboard standoffs and screw them into place, then install the IO shield. After that install the power supply and screw it into place.
Run all the cables through back of the case. Then take your motherboard and put it into place. Take this type of screws and screw them in. Don't use too much force while doing that because you might damage the motherboard. Then take your hard drive and put it in. After that take 4 screws and use them to secure the hard drive. Plug in your USB and audio Hard, hard drive LED Reset switch Power LED And the power switch Unscrew and remove the PCI Express shield at the back. Open the lock on the PCI Express slot, then take the graphics card. Align it with the socket and press down to lock it into place. Lastly, secure it with one screw at the front. Then take out the third PCI Express shield at the back. Take your Wi-Fi card and put it into place. Secure it with a single screw at the back of the case. Then take the antenna and screw it into the card. Then plug in your CPU and motherboard power cable. When you're done, it should look something like that. After that, take the SATA power cable and plug it into the back of the hard drive. Take the SATA cable that comes with the motherboard and plug one end into the motherboard and the other one into the hard drive. Lastly, plug in the rear fan into the motherboard. Once you're done looking at your creation, plug in your power cable, monitor, mouse and keyboard and press the power button at the front of the case. Your fans should start spinning and PC should pause. After that install your operating system and drivers and you should be good to go. But now you ask, okay Gallup, but how does it run games? Well, for benchmarking I've chosen 4 games and 1 benchmark test and these games are Battlefield 4, Minecraft 1.8.8, League of Legends, Counter-Strike Global Offensive and of course 3D Mark Firestrike Test. All of these are running in 1080p. So with that said, let's hop right in to the benchmark zone. Press start. Minecraft Max settings 85.7 average frames per second. League of Legends, 
max settings, 135.2 average frames per second. Counter-Strike Global Offensive Recommended Settings 125.5 Average Frames Per Second Battlefield 4 Medium Setting 56.4 Average Frames Per Second Ricky Mark 5 Strike with a score of 1996. So there you guys have it. A 350 euro system. I got mine with used parts for around 220 euros. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.